Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff here. It's been a while. Um, it's time for another instalment of My Guitars, uh, number 18. Unbelievably. Um, so this is, well it isn't, a Fender Mexican standard uh, Stratocaster, rather. That's what it started out as. Um, and then I made some changes to it. I only got this a couple of days ago and I bought it specifically because I wanted to mod it so it wasn't like I bought an old guitar and it needed tweaking and any of that kind of stuff. Um, in fact I already had some of the components for it. So I put Fender locking tuners on and one of the more modern American style string trees which don't put as much pressure on the string so it helps to reduce the tuning instability. Um, it's got a black scratch plate uh, which is a genuine Fender one that I bought on eBay I think. Um, Fender noiseless vintage or vintage noiseless single coils um, in a kind of achy colour. Um, I wanted to use the parchment white um, pickup covers that came with the guitar but they don't fit, the pole pieces don't line up um, which is slightly annoying. The actual control knobs and everything are, are, are stock uh, but they actually, the, the pots themselves they came with the pickups because they're different values needed um, and I've actually rewired the tone controls. Normally on a strat, a traditional strat this tone control is the neck pickup and this tone control is the middle pickup. That to me didn't make a lot of sense uh, because your neck pickup is naturally the most bassy anyway. So I've wired this tone control to the middle pickup and this tone control to the bridge pickup so my neck pickup doesn't have a tone control on it. Um, and it just enables me to, to balance them a bit better. I've also got a shorter tremolo arm. Um, if you take a regular tremolo arm, it's here and I put it alongside, you can see it's about an inch and a half shorter um, than the stock arm. And that is the only, I think, non Fender item on the guitar. Um, bought that on eBay. And it's cool. Uh, again, it's obviously David Gilmour influenced uh, in. in pretty much every way. Um, I've got it tuned to E flat though, which isn't the Gilmore thing. That's just what seemed to fit with the uh, NYXL 10 to 46 balance tension set. Um, I found tuned to E, the B string in particular, was quite hard to bend. I decided to try these strings for something different. Um, so I'm plugged via my mini pedal board. So tuner, Shiba Reloaded, Coco Reloaded, one plus uh, tape echo, uh, just into the, into the tweaker. And it just sounds really, really good. If I turn off everything. So neck pick up. Kind of puts me in, I don't know, kind of Robert Craig mode. Middle pickup. Nice kind of snappy, kind of funky. And the 
bridge on its own. Now, I bought this because I wanted to have a guitar with a fixed bridge, uh, with a floating bridge rather, I don't have any leaders. Even my trem equipped guitars are all blocked um, using tremolo nerves. This one I'm going to keep loose because I occasionally want to be able to do. And the shoulder bar kind of helps me resist the temptation to dive on and do silly things with it. Now if I kick into my overdrive, I'll turn the delay on again for fun. That's loud. So the troll pickup, the, the bridge pickup is quite biting. I tend to roll the tone off on that to about six. Which just takes the edge off slightly. And then I run the middle pickup to tone control at about eight. And that kind of balances it too. Settling in still a bit, um, so it drifted slightly out of tune with some of the more extreme one we're using there. Um, always a battle with tremolo or good guitars, um, and particularly new strings, but it's it's getting there, and it does what I needed, which is to have a strat. Um, you know, it's a sound that is going to of itself. Uh, you know, it's, it's its own thing, and I wanted a guitar that could do that. So now I have one. Um, not a guitar I'll play all the time. It's surprisingly dark um, compared with my Sirs, at least. Not my Tellies. Uh, I was surprised by how, how dark any it was, even with stock pickups. Um, I know people have said that the vintage noiseless ones, particularly in the in between positions, um, can be a bit sort of dark and muddy, but. The other stock pickups as well were, were surprisingly dark um, compared with what I'm used to with my other guitars. But it's cool and it's its own thing and it sounds really good and it plays really nice. Uh, I do need to file down the nut very slightly um, because it actually is a little bit high down here 
when I get further up it's fine and when I put a cap at the first fret I can really tell the difference so it just shows that the um, nut slots are a little bit haven't quite been filed down enough but other than that before I started upgrading it it was you know, less than 450 pounds um, brand new and it plays great um, the upgrades are the sort of thing that you can do as and when um, you want to or need to um, I just happened to want to do them straight away um, yeah definitely worth a look so say just a 2017 Mexican Fender Stratocaster standard with a few minor tweaks till next time guys take care speak to you soon